Recorded live. Casey, I've got Mark Villasenor and M. Singh on the line. Why, hello, Mr. Hello. Dude. How are you? I'm doing all right, I guess. I'm surprised to uh, see that Mr. Villasenor came out of hiding. Not that he was hiding, but you know what I'm saying. I was, ignoring, curious, I was ignoring you, Casey. Oh, okay, good. I was not trying to contact you. You were you were not trying to contact me. No, no, because you're saying you're ignoring me as if I was trying to contact you or something. Well, I, I mean that in the sense of ignoring the whole fiasco. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. I don't know about you guys, but I am dying for another M. Sing Casey Saren showdown. So <laughs> M. Sing, I'm going to turn this over to you for a moment and give the audience what they want to hear, please. You don't actually have to mention the um, name of where you work. In fact, I don't want you to mention the name of where you work. Um, could um, just um, just to satisfy the curiosity of uh, these people here, um, could you tell us exactly what in, what industry it is? Uh, retail, information technology, anything? It's an online retailer that sells health products, and it, okay. those are the type of products I actually would believe in and use personally. Hello, Dwayne. So, Casey, you got a job? Yes. That's <laughs> hard for laughing. Congratulations, man. Um, what actually, are you doing uh, exactly? I'm actually going to enjoy this one. It's a it's an online retailer based out of uh, Sacramento, so they're local, but they sell um, health products and health supplements and natural type stuff. Um, Is it a nutraceutical type deal? Uh, well, it's not traditional medicine. It's things like natural cures and. Uh, like one of the products they have is a natural alternative to Viagra, for example. It's a blue pill, but all natural ingredients, no side effects. You know, I, I really believe in that stuff because I think traditional medicine, a lot of it is very much a conspiracy. They'll give you a, they'll fix one problem, they'll cost 10 more just so you can come back and buy more drugs. But anyway, we won't start on that. Yeah. Uh, but so I really, so, I mean, this this whole, you know, the, the natural thing, it kind of fits right up your alley. Are you still doing the uh, hot and cold shower routine, yeah. by the way? Yeah, still do that. It sends send the blood and the lymph around your body real fast. It's really good. Okay, um, Annie uh, is going to be on. Yeah, I was calling to say hello to Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne, Annie, are you still there? Yeah, yeah. Annie, how you feeling? Oh, did you get my mail? Yep. Hey, hey, hey Casey, yeah. will you do me one favor and Annie, you the same? I've still got numb nuts out there that think because I have talk to Gwen or whatever. There must be some oh. kind of... So, I mean, Casey, I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen this, that, that I'm infatuated. I've got some kind of relationship going with Galena. Yeah, you know what? Dwayne, you are the epitome of a Southern gentleman. And for people to even question any ulterior motive that you may have was absolutely, it was full hucky. It was, it was so unfounded and so untrue. You, like me, are a good person. You, like me, Thanks. saw somebody who needed assistance. You, like me, had no ulterior motive except to help that person when they weren't getting the support they needed from the people in their, in their what people call their inner circle. You know what I mean? A friend of mine was a mortgage broker. He put in my name into his mortgage broking or, you know, his system, whatever the system he uses. Yeah. It wasn't that I was looking for a loan, but he put it in because I was referring a loan. I think I was in there as a referee. Whatever it is, my name went in there, and a huge red flag came up, and his boss contacted him right away and said, are you doing a loan for Casey Saren? And he's like, no, no, I'm not. And, and like, apparently he almost lost his job, and his entire branch was on alert um, because it set off some red flags. So anyway, um, I, my name definitely is in probably all the different databases you can be in. Since M. Singh didn't give me what I wanted to hear, I believe that Nacho will. Well, Casey, are you aware that, that uh, Dwayne just recently said going to 1500 bucks to fund the divorce. Are you aware of that? Really? No, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. 
So, you know, he may not have been involved with her kicking you out after you got back from Australia, but he is helping in that way. And I just think it needs to be done out there. Now, why would you do this, Tracy? Because I think it's important for Casey to know. I don't think that it's okay for, for uh, Dwayne and Annie to be, you know, Dwayne's such a great guy. You know, if he's such a great guy, then keep it real. Then, you know, be honest about it. Be honest about everything that you did. And you, Casey straight up asked him, you know, did you have anything to do with this? And he's like, no, no, I didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, he had something to do with it. Bull fucking shit. I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it. You didn't send her money, 1500 bucks. I just sent it to her the other day. Now, okay, but she she is, the, the divorce has been filed for a while, T. But you Do not sit there and... for the attorney. I'm sorry? But you sent her money for the attorney. A a you're, you're exactly right, I did. Okay, but then that's all that I wanted you to say. Wait, 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 wait. No, bullshit. You're coming back trying to imply that, that I had something to do, you know, like you got something on me. I'll, I'll Wait, tell you you're what. Saying you, had, you know, you're saying that you had nothing to do with it. Oh, you know, I didn't have anything to do with it at all. You're making it easy for Glenna to divorce him. Just be honest about it, man. The there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. Just hey, be hey. honest with the guy. Don't blur hey, his ass and try to be his best friend all of a sudden. Be fucking honest with him. I'm not trying to be his best friend. I, I, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you a lot of things, T. I'll tell you a lot of things. One, I have never lied to Casey, ever. Two, when I was so pissed at him, I still tried to help him, and you can ask him. Sure, Three, yeah, people like you, well, well, hold on one damn second. You, you don't sit there and fucking try to call me out like I try to, I, I call something. I'm I'll tell you what, you I, face, I sent her money because she needed it. I sent her money because Casey fucking ruined every damn thing she's got. I sent her money when people like CJTS or whatever said that he wouldn't, he didn't. I took care of her financially because other people wouldn't. You got a problem with that? Is there anything else I don't know? Hey, Casey, I just sent Galena money. Yes, there's one other thing you don't know. I funded a trip that Annie was supposed to have gone on to San Francisco so she, Galena, and a few of her friends and her sister could, could go out and have a night on the town where all this shit first went down. He's telling you this now because he's afraid I'm going to tell you. Let, let, let me tell you something. About? Just like I helped support Casey, just like I sent Casey money, I've also sent Galena money. You're, you're calling me out like I've done something wrong, like I'm some fucking evil bastard. All I've tried to do is help. You know, All I've tried to do is help. Oh, All you've done is be a smart-ass bitch. And? I never claimed to be anything other than. Well, good. I don't have my good, buddies good. come online and say what a great fucking person I am, and how I'm nothing but a gentleman. Hey, you, you fucking replay it. Did you hear me up Casey's ass? Yeah. I told him I didn't think it would last. Yeah. I, I told him I didn't think his job would last. If you're going to sit here and talk to Casey and, and be honest, you know, I had nothing to do with her kicking you out. Me and Annie had nothing to do with it. But you did hey, have Casey, to do with I, it. Didn't, I didn't have anything to do with it. But what part of her filing for divorce a long time ago and me paying for the damn payment just a, a few days ago, what part of the timeline do you not understand? Is that fucking hard for you to understand? Casey, are you glad just, you know? Do you feel better about knowing? Honestly, I do. I do feel better knowing the truth. Well, then you're welcome. Thank you. And I'm going to end this call. You, you take care. Keep your freaking job, dude. Thank you, uh, Tracy, I think.